Oh, hello my YouTube friends. So, today, we're going to put some solder paste onto these PCBs I got from JLC PCB. Utilising this stencil. And, uh, yeah. We'll see how things go. Solder paste, solder paste time. Squeegee. Let's see if we squidge it properly. I will say that is a success. With any reason. Okay, component placement time. Okie dokie, let's get on with this assembly.
I was having a hard time here reading the diodes. The writing was so small I couldn't actually see it either with my magnifying magnifier there or with my naked eye. So I ended up having to take a photograph, as you can see, with my phone and then blow up the image on my phone to be able to actually read and see where the cathode bar was so I could actually orientate the diode the correct way around. They were pretty hard buggers to read. Okay, we're all loaded. As you can see here, the board's on the board heater. This heater heats up enough that I can use it to do the soldering. I do have a reflow oven, but it's currently being repaired. I will have a video on repairing that at some point. But for now, the board heater is doing the job, and as you can see, there's a the lovely flux fumes coming up, rising up towards the camera. Enjoy watching it solder up.
So as we close out the build video for the arcade hat, as you can see there, I'm putting in the last of the pluggable headers. And as you can see, I've completed assembling the stack. I'll be doing testing in the next video, and we'll go from there. So enjoy a few pictures of the completed stack there, and some mid-build photos when I had all the components soldered onto the board, and a dry fit of the through-hole components.